As he was growing up, he would no doubt have been told, well, one day all this will be yours. Having inherited the title at the age of two and a half, I can never remember a time when I was not aware of my privileged position. He's a young, glamorous, attractive, fashionable man about town. He's a high-profile figure. Because he has that sort of profile, it's a great story. It's the sort of story of a great man's potential decline or fall. Something strange and horrible happened to him. The Montague trials were the biggest since the trials of Oscar Wilde. It's got everything. It's got intrigue, glamour, sex. We all understand that the media can whip things up in a nasty way. Homosexuality in Britain in the 1950s was totally illegal. Our generation just can't conceive what happened anyway. We just think, well, it's just madness. That can't have happened. I think as a human being, he had this incredible strength to rise above it. He didn't go and hide in a corner. A lot of his life, he didn't really care a damn what anybody thought. He managed to, like a phoenix, rise from the ashes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lord Montague, and I welcome you to Beulis. The present Lord Montague has opened his palace to the public. The normal man or woman in the street wouldn't normally get access to seeing such grandness. When you charge people money to see your home, you have to make sure it's worth looking at. Lord Montague is one successful aristocratic entrepreneur. He was making the English country house something for everyone. When you look back at what he has achieved, it is a tribute to what one man can do with his life. Thank you.